cut them. I need another electric hose from the um, tractor to the trailer. This one broke. The trailer had just connected, and this came out. How to repair a broken pigtail. Sometimes you have a situation where everybody experiences it, where the actual trailer is not connected. If you don't do that double tug when you connect to a trailer, you may think that you're snug, but actually you may not be. So what happens is the hoses and the electrical lines can come loose. Now the hoses come loose a lot easier. The pigtail has a device on it that locks it in place so that it doesn't come out. And so that's going to be a little harder to come out. So when we, if you make a mistake and disconnect, that is going to hold. And this is what's going to happen. The wires are going to actually break apart. Now, if you don't have another pigtail with you, then you're going to have to pull out your electrical spills. And you're going to have to expose the wire that's disconnected because there's a clean break there. All right, we've already taken the other wire disconnected from the uh, tractor so there's no more current going through it. So what we're going to do is we're going to expose this wire and then when we expose this wire we're going to take what I have here some good old Gorilla, gorilla tape down here because you want to put some type of tape on it once you reconnect it and then make sure you cover those wires alright so as you see we've already disconnected the pigtail it's going to flap it around here from the tractor right here where is it at right here we've already disconnected that from the tractor and the other half of it is the electrical here where we're going to we're going to do the same thing we're going to expose those wires and when you expose those wires then you just connect the colors together that match all right so we're going to expose wire here and cutting this open that's why it's always good to have a, a handy pocket knife because you know you can use it for anything being a <laughs> a farming boy I know how to cut open an apple <laughs> so that's almost like the same thing you're just cutting it open exposing the wire just like we did on the other side I'm gonna put a slit right through the middle here Be careful when you're handling sharp items not to cut yourself. We want to get this little thick bugger out of here. Uh, now, once we open it up, just then we allow yourself to expose those wires. And if we want to do the same thing with these wires as we did the other wires, we're going to cut it down and expose the wire and each time we expose a wire that's going to give us something to connect to on the other side all right like I say be careful when you're dealing with sharp items you want to cut yourself but this is a live situation here a live load that coming right out of the gate we had an issue. You see, one thing about this industry, you're going to have some issues. But a problem is not a problem unless you don't have a solution. <laughs> okay? Now, we expose all the wires. Expose that, then we're going to match the matching wire together. So we see we, we see the nice big red one. We're gonna put them boogers together. 
All right. And then I'm going to put them together, face each other. There's many techniques of connecting wires, but right now, we kind of under a little bit of pressure because we we under a lot of load. So we're gonna uh, uh oh, hold on for a minute. Always have a pair of these. All right, so what we're gonna do is. Take those exposed wires and start connecting them. We're gonna twist them bad boys with Mr. Bicycle. You won't buy the secure connections you can get. This might be taking a little bit longer than I was making a video for because. We don't want it to. That's why we're going to see if we can do it in the time frame. Let's see if we got more time. Mm -hmm. That needs a good connection. That needs a good connection. We're going to log on to do that because it's going to take a long time. We're going to have to call for that tank. Take a minute to get the wire together. I'll show you how it's going to look in the next All right, Chef, let's turn it back in. idea was I connected all of the wires back together okay somewhat similar to like I did this one here and then I took the gorilla tape and I put the gorilla tape on it okay so there are no wires of touch but what I'm going to do until I deliver this load I'm going to change the pigtail around I'm going to put the stationary side of the pigtail on the back of the tractor. On the back of the tractor where it, there's less movement. And then the part where it came apart from on the tra trailer side, I'm going to put the one that's not broken. That way, when it moves, it's not a problem if you have a bad connection. But, this is right here, why it's good to have some understanding on several different mechanical areas. Because if you're out here on the road, you're liable to have some kind of issue that happen. And if you don't know how to prepare it yourself, you will be calling someone at this time of night to charge you big bucks. And if you're an owner operator and you want to pay, or a company you want to pay, then somebody's going to pay for it. Here we go. Pig tail back in the house. We're about to test it to see if the lights work. Plug it up. And we got lights. We got lights. We got lights. See why it's good to have a few skills? We got lights. We got lights. All right, that's how you recover from an incident out in this trucking game because there's always gonna be one or something. Never a boring day in this. Chime it out. <laughs>